I met Vanessa Garcia in 2008. Uh, I was doing a play reading for the Barnard Club of South Florida, and ironically, we both went to Barnard College at Columbia University, and we both became visual artists and playwrights, and ironically developing theater companies which, and, uh, with a similar mission. You can say things like painter and author and playwright, but what's so fascinating about the way Vanessa operates is all those, all those things intersect. So any one work of hers, you know, be it, be it a novel, be it, um, be it a play, be it a painting, um, at any moment they'll overlap with one of the other aspects of what she does and then you know, a painting will come to life with an illustration, an illustration will have a story behind it, and you know, everything will build on top of what her talents are to make something bigger than what you'd expect. Vanessa Garcia is a rare thing in Miami. She is a genuine creative force, unattached to medium, style, or method. She's an actress, artist, author, and playwright. Her multimedia production company is called The Crane, and through it, she has launched several unique and celebrated programs. One of her most successful shows was a recent one, a collaboration with artists from the local theater scene. We decided that um, a good idea would be to get writers in Miami, give them a sort of prompt, the way that you know literary journals will give people a prompt or, or you know like national competitions or things like that, and just do it with Miami, and give them a Shakespeare-based prompt. It was called Shake It Up, and Vanessa came up with the idea of giving all the playwrights or putting out a call to playwrights to do um, a monologue show and each one of us received a line from Shakespeare, and then we were asked to write a monologue. We put together about 10 plays that night, and it was a hit. It just, it just it was magnetic, and a lot, of, a lot of people came out of over uh, 100 people in the audience. I wrote a monologue called Red, which is about a woman who turns red um, because she's incredibly shy and sort of socially awkward. And every time, so she, the whole monologue, she has a paper bag over her head. Hi this bag over my head because <laughs> I have this problem where I, I turn red. I guess it's a story um, that it, it's framed as, you know, uh, the character has some social anxiety issues and, and it's always, I guess, limited her ability to, to interact with the world at large, you know, and I guess that's, that's sort of the narrow vision of it, but I guess, you know, broadly speaking, it's just whatever stops us from really connecting with another person, you know, and it, and it just illustrates the point very well, and it's, I think it's something everybody has come up against at one point in their life. I've seen and read a lot of Vanessa's work, and I, I don't think it's necessarily always funny or always dramatic, it's, you know, but, but it's, but what she's very good at is cutting to the point. So, you know, in, in the case of Red, where it's, it's very simple, but it's, it's funny, it's, it's funny and sad at the same time. Introspective, insightful, and sometimes bittersweet, Vanessa's work often deals with themes of exile and growth, whether figurative or abstract. Lately, theater has been her medium of choice. Our next show, a show that we're working on now, is called Two Islands, and it's two one acts. And the idea with that was to get all sort of Miami-based talent and then get them to travel to the Edinburgh Theater Festival. And so we wanted, though, to do that entire production in Miami first. Two Islands are actually two plays, uh, two distinct plays. One is written by myself. It's called, one, one of the plays within the Two Islands plays are uh, Jewish Nun, and the other one is called Island Blogosphere. Now Vanessa Garcia wrote Island Blogosphere and I wrote The Jewish Nun. Island Blogosphere is autobiographical. In it, she reenacts a real experience and plays herself, while her sister, also an actress who appears in the play, does the same. I was supposed to go to Cuba and I had it all sort of set set up and I had my ticket, I had everything and then my my aunt got uh, cancer and so I was supposed to leave for Cuba, I mean yeah for Cuba on Monday and she was supposed to have a mastectomy on Friday and it all got kind of complicated. The trip got cancelled, also my parents had a really hard time with me going to Cuba <laughs> and so that whole thing got cancelled and I thought well this is sort of a topic that I want to address in the play. So what did she say? She doesn't want us to go. I knew. She's such a freak. She thinks I'm dragging you into this. She thinks it's all my idea. You're the victim of my idea. Why? Because I don't have my own brain? Because I don't want to go see the place they've been talking to us about since we were born? That's what I told her. The play ultimately covers Vanessa's aborted attempt to travel to Cuba and her virtual interaction with Yoani Sanchez, a Cuban blogger who writes about her experience on the island, but is unable to see the impact of her words because her work is so restricted and censored by the Cuban government. 
she says that when she first started out she said I feel like like I was like throwing this bottle out to sea and I had no idea who was picking it up and and people were picking it up. Vanessa's uh, play to me talks about courage and writing one's truth and being an artist and being able to express oneself regardless of limitations or dictatorship or a regime that squelches artistic freedom. Vanessa's star seems only to be rising. She's begun a PhD program at UC Irvine and was just named by the Miami Herald as one of the 20 artists under 40 who are making an impact on the city. She's at work on a novel and doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. I would say Vanessa Garcia just is, ex has an explosive talent and it's a joy to work with her. For Vanessa, I don't, I don't think it's even so much of a choice as to whether or not she's going to work in the arts or work at her craft. I mean, it's, it's, what, she, it's what she loves. And even more than that, it's, it's really, it almost seems like the only thing for her. So you, I've just seen her, you know, I've known her for so many years and, and it's always been what she's done. For more information on Vanessa Garcia, visit vanessagarcia.org. The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.